Okay, so let's continue here. As we read in Zechariah, the fifth chapter and tenth verse. The two women were holding the basket between heaven and earth. Okay. Those two women represent Assyria and Egypt. And the woman in the middle, the woman who the woman they are bringing up to the between heaven and earth represents Babylon. Okay. This is why we read here in Isaiah 14 and 13. You said in your heart, I will ascend to heavens. Sorry, I will ascend to the heavens. Right? Because we just read that in Zechariah chapter 5, verse 10. Okay? That's what she said in her heart. Right? I will ascend to the heavens. I will raise my throne above the stars of God. I will sit enthroned on the Mount of Assembly on the utmost heights of Mount Zaphon. As we read in Zechariah 5 and 10, they took the basket to Babylonia. Okay? This is why Jeremiah 15 32 says, The arrogant one will fall. Okay? The arrogant one will stumble and fall. And no one will help her up. See that? These are the days we're living in. America. Mystery Babylon revealed. I will kindle a fire in her towns that will consume all who are around her. Isaiah 47 and 9. Both of these will overtake you in a moment. On a single day. As it is happening, right? One day to God. <laughs> it's a thousand years to you. So again, on a single day. The loss of children and widowhood. They will come upon you in full measure. Let's go ahead and show you the full measurement of that. In Isaiah 34 and 11. The desert owl and screech owl will possess it. The great owl and the raven will nest there. The most high will stretch over what? Over Edom. That's that's what that's where is it at? Over Edom, the measuring line of chaos. And the plumb line of desolation. As we read. Isaiah 47 and 9. It says, both of these will overtake you in a moment, on a single day, loss of children and widowhood. They will come upon you in full measure, in spite of your many sorceries and all your potent psyops, hoaxes, and spells. Okay? Just like last night, right? Eleven police officers shot down in Texas. Three pronounced dead on the scene. Ha <laughs> ha! Or your many sorceries and all your potent spells. People are waking up to your lies, America. When are you gonna understand that? Verse 10, let's, let's find out why people are waking up. Because you have trusted in your wickedness and said no one sees me, that's why. You see this? Okay, again, which brings us back to the scripture here in Deuteronomy 28 and 49. Sorry. Sorry. 28 and 49, okay? It says, Yahweh will bring a nation against you from far away, from the end of the earth, like an eagle swooping down, a nation whose language you will not understand. Okay? Just as we read. Alright? It says here, a nation whose language you will not understand. Because they are arrogant. They are evil. Okay? Again. Isaiah 47 and 10. You have trusted in your wickedness and said, No one sees me. Your wisdom and knowledge mislead you when you say to yourself, I am, and there is none besides me. Let's go ahead and bring this out real quick. Okay. Isaiah 29 and 15. Look what it says. Woe to those who go to great depths, see? Psyops, hoaxes, lying every day to the people. They go to great depths, man. They pay billions of dollars to keep you people in confusion. So the Most High God says, curse and destruction to these people who does such things. So woe to those who go to great depths to hide their plans from Yahweh, who do their works in darkness and think, who sees us? Who will know? And the Most High God says, he sees everything. You see that? He has appointed the stars to record. He has appointed his cherubs to record. He has appointed us, his servants, to record. You understand that? He sees it all. So these are the days you're going to fall. Because you don't know who's God. So let's return to Isaiah 47 and 10. Again, you have trusted in your wickedness and have said, No one sees me. Your wisdom and knowledge misleads you when you say to yourself, I am. And there is none besides me. So this is why the Most High God says that he will kindle a fire inside of her. That will consume all the people around her. 
like it says here in Jeremiah 30, sorry, 15 and 32. I will kindle a fire in her towns that will consume all who are around her. What is that fire? Well, we're seeing it right now. Okay? We're seeing it right now happening, right? The Black Lives Matter, Make America White, right? So basically, this is what it is, right? They try to make the blacks against the white, the Latinos against the whites and the blacks, and you know, this is the fire, right? The Most High God says this is what was going to happen to America because America trusted in her wickedness. You see what I'm saying? Okay. Proverbs 23 and 20. This is why the Most High God says, Do not join those who drink too much wine or gorge themselves on meat. Why? Because, again, you're going to be either in this crowd right here or in this crowd right here. That's why this is the fire the Most High God has aroused in America. Oh, you think it wasn't going to come? The Most High God talked about it. Let's go ahead and show you. Daniel 11 and 14. In those times, many will rise, uh, sorry. In those times, many will rise against the king of the south. Those who are violent among your own people will rebel in fulfillment of the vision, but without success. Who is the king of the south? That's Egypt. Where is Egypt? Right here. America, modern day, modern day Egypt is America, okay? So it says, in those times, many will rise against the king of the south. People are waking up against America. You see that? It says, those who are violent among your own people will rebel in fulfillment of the vision. That's why you have things going on such as Black Lives Matters, right? Because these people think that they are Egyptians. They think, you know what I mean? That they're black when they don't know who they are, okay? The Most High God says that his people have went back down to Egypt to live, all right? And some have went back up to Assyria to live. So you see why uh, Egypt and Assyria is oppressing us both. Here in America, the Most High God told you this was going to happen, okay? Again, those who are violent among your own people will rebel in fulfillment of the vision. That is what's happening today. Okay, this is why the Most High God says this here. Jeremiah 9 and 26. Egypt, Judah, Edom, Ammon, Moab, and all who live in the wilderness and distant places. For all these nations are really uncircumcised. And even the whole house of Yashara is uncircumcised in the heart. You see that? They out there rallying. <laughs> thinking that's going to you know, solve a problem. Okay. The Most High God says, you are uncircumcised in heart. Okay? Eat them, uncircumcised in heart. They want to make America white again, right? Okay? This is what it's all about. So again, the Most High God says, we're living in the times that uh, the prophecies are being fulfilled. Okay? Let me go ahead and show you. Isaiah chapter 8, verse 4. For before the boy knows how to say my father or my mother, the wealth of Damascus and the plunder of Samaria will be carried off by the king of Assyria. Okay? So it says here one more time. For before the boy knows how to say my father or my mother, the wealth of Damascus and the plunder of Samaria will be carried off by the king of Assyria. So this is talking about Satan's kingdom being here on earth right now. The Most High God told you about the king of the north, right? The king of Assyria. Who is that? Well, that's David Rockefeller. You understand that? And his crew. You understand that? So this is what it is. The Most High God told you that Satan was going to show his horn in the last days. This is Satan's kingdom here. You understand that? These people are willing to sell out. This is why the Most High God says, Those who are violent among your own people will rebel in fulfillment of the vision. So this is what it is. A lot of our people, they sold out to the government, okay? That's why, you know, they, they are uncircumcised. This is why they're coronal, because they sold out. You understand that? This is what happens now when you forget your God. The Most High God says he will give you now over into the hands of your enemies. Have fun, okay? Have fun. You forsook your God. Let's see you escape this one now, okay? Let's read uh, Daniel chapter 2, verse 43 to show you. That Assyria and Egypt, <laughs> they will never unite. Okay, this little Satan's kingdom here on earth is going to fall. Daniel chapter 2, verse 43. And just as you saw the iron mixed with baked clay, so the people will be a mixture and will not remain united anymore than iron mixed with clay. <laughs> verse 44. 
Let's go and bring this beautiful scripture out. In the time of those kings, the Most High of Heaven will set up a kingdom that will never be destroyed, nor will it be left to another people. It will crush all those kingdoms and bring them to an end, but it will itself endure forever. And that's talking about now. Why? Because this is the righteous kingdom of the Most High. See, we're not violent over here. We're not violent. I mean, come on. It tells you in your New Testament not to be violent, right? I mean, this is what Jesus told you, Matthew 26 and 52. Put your sword back in its place, Jesus said to them. For all who draw the sword will die by the sword, right? I mean, this is why Esau is a violent man. Because he was going to be living by the sword, okay? And therefore, the Most High God says that he was going to die by the sword, right? But us who serve Yahweh, well, our sword is spiritual. I always thought all the words of the Most High because it breaks. It breaks to pieces. The lies, okay? It cuts and destroys you people out there that, that love to serve Satan and love to serve idols. You understand? That's, that's what the Word of God does to your idol. It shatters it in pieces. All with His Word. So let's read Malachi 1 and 1. A prophecy, the word of Yahweh to Yasharal through Malachi. It says here, I have loved you, says Yahweh, but you asked, how have you loved us? Was not Esau's Jacob brother declares Yahweh? Yet I have loved Jacob. Why? Because Esau hated his brother. But Esau I have hated, and I have turned his hill country, Assyria, right, into a wasteland. This is why we read here in Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 31, sorry, verse 9. It says, let's just go ahead and get this real quick. It says, their stronghold will fall because of terror at the sight of the battle standard. Their commanders will panic, declares Yahweh, whose fire is in Zion. But let's go ahead and read verse 8. Sorry, I wanted to bring this out. It says, Assyria will fall by no human sword. A sword not of mortals will devour them. They will flee before the sword, and their young men will be put to forced labor. Verse 9, their stronghold will fall because of terror. At the sight of the battle standards, their commanders will panic, declares Yahweh, whose fire is in Zion, whose furnace is in Jerusalem. So Malachi 1 and 3 again. But Esau I have hated, and I have turned his hill country into a wasteland, and left his inheritance to desert jackals. Okay? As we read, I'm sorry. As we read um, over here in this in this verse, in Isaiah chapter 34, verse 11, the desert owl and screech owl will possess it. The great owl and raven will nest there. The Most High will stretch over Edom the measuring line of chaos and the plumb line of destruction. So that's what's coming up for America, okay? There's no peace coming up for America. You're trying to make America great again? You're crazy. Let's go ahead and read this for you. In Genesis 27 and 40, it says here, this is about Esau. You will live by the sword, and you will serve your brother. But when you grow restless, you will throw his yoke from off your neck. When does that happen? Well, let's go ahead and show you this here. In Ezekiel 35 and 5, because you harbored an ancient hostility and delivered the Yasharalites over to the sword at the time of their calamity, the time their punishment reached its climax, Therefore, as surely as I live, declares the sovereign Yahweh, I will give you over to bloodshed, and it will pursue you, since you did not hate bloodshed. Bloodshed will pursue you. You see that? Again, you will live by the sword, and you will serve your brother, right? But you didn't want to do that. You didn't want to do that, okay? So therefore, you wanted to continue to chase your brother with the sword, right? So therefore, since you lived by the sword, you will die by the sword. Again. Since you did not hate bloodshed, bloodshed will pursue you. Verse 7, it says, I will make Mount Seir a desolate waste and cut off from it all who come and go. You understand that? That's what's America's future, okay? You, you just heard it for yourself. The Most High God says he will cut off from it all who come and go. Let's read now Genesis 9 and 6. Whoever sheds human blood by humans shall their blood be shed for the image of God has God made mankind 
Let's go ahead and understand this here. It's coming back to you, Esau.